Deadpool team up number two. We got two copies of it. I got two copies so I could read it twice. You know, sometimes you want to read a comic book two times. So, you know, I got two copies and I can read each one. Um, let's talk about this comic using my space system, story, pacing, artistry, characters, enjoyment, and each category gets a score between zero and two. Two's the best you can get in any category. Now, I hate that I have to do this, but I always have to mention that my space system reviews comics based on your expectation levels. So, I, I, I don't I don't need comments saying, oh, I don't like Rob Liefeld. It doesn't matter to me. I love Rob Liefeld um, from X-Force number one all the way through. I do, of course, have the first Deadpool, and I also have the first Cable, and I have all his issues that he did for New Mutants, but not from day one. So I was a day one. X, X-Force one is where I jumped on the bandwagon, and I never got off. So you got to know that right away. When I buy Rob Liefeld comic, I'm expecting a few things. Firstly, I'm expecting killer pacing, absolutely awesome art, big time splash pages, big time action sequences, huge guns, huge swords, all that kind of stuff, and a story that holds it all together just enough to deliver the action. That is how I'm rating this, okay? So on that point, I'm gonna give a storyline a two out of two because it's cool. Okay, it's all about the dragon eggs. Now this is a longer uh, this is this is a longer um, arc. So I don't know how many issues it's going to be. I don't know if it's four or five issues. Maybe it's six. This is going to represent the last work that Rob's doing on on at least on Deadpool for Marvel. So um, it, it is an important work to get. And based on that, I think he's just gone all out. Like look how crazy that is. First of all, Chris Star, are you guys kidding me right now? Chris Star, wow! I've got the old, oh, I've got my old Chris Star figure, and I've got that newest one that Marvel just did. It's bloody awesome. So. Um, they te he's teamed up. Now, here's a guy that I did not know about. So I've, as you know, I've been reading uh, every Friday. I've been uh, talking about four issues of Fantastic Four in order. So we're on issues like 90 something now. So I haven't gotten to this Ral Dorn guy, this, um, this Dragon Lord guy. He's actually pretty damn cool. So I don't know anything about this guy. I was completely confused, um, like, who this was. So I had to look it up. Uh, Rob explained it a bit on his podcast who this character was, which is really neat. So I will get to that guy eventually. But yeah, man, so um, basically, Chris Star has been protecting the eggs in uh, weird, weird, weird world, weird world, yeah. Um, <clears throat> so Wolverine and Deadpool and Dragon Lord Guy have all come there. They start fighting, typical, this is your standard superhero tropes. The good guys fight each other when they first meet because they don't know their intentions. Then they're like, hey, we're friends. Oh, okay, boom, then they're, and then they're friends. So, uh, I mean, the pacing, do I have to tell you anything but other than two out of two, it's just massive action. It's, it's just like massive, like this entire thing is fighting. And some people, you know, don't like that or whatever. And, and, and again, I'm telling them, you can develop a story through action, right? Like, look, Watchmen is one of the greatest cre creations in comics. Like, I love Watchmen. I'm not comparing this to Watchmen. I bought Watchmen issue by issue because I was into the story and the mystery of it. This is presenting you action sequences. So I hate that I have to explain this because I do have to explain it. It feels like I have to explain this every time because there's always someone who, ha who has to be smart about it. It's like, guys, I've said this on all the videos. I'm like, yeah, see? This is, again, this, you expect this. This is a standard Rob Liefeld page layout. He's done, he's does, done this many times and you got your... And it's a very manga inspired. You can tell the manga inspiration. By the way, side note: Deadpool manga is pretty fun. I read the first two volumes a while back. I, I, sh I should. I think I reviewed them, and the latest chapters are pretty funny. So check that out if you can. Anyways, yeah. Um, of course, yeah. Oh, man, the, the pacing is crazy. Okay. Um, artistry. The artistry. Well, of course, it's two out of two. Um, Deadpool to me, the, the real Deadpool is Rob Liefeld's Deadpool. I just can't, I can't do it with anyone else. I, I feel, look, I love Deadpool. He's a great character. Um, Ryan Reynolds in the live action format is, is like just perfect for Wade Wilson. He's absolutely perfect. That's about it. I just can't do De uh, Deadpool, I'm sorry, De Deadpool um, with any other uh, artist. It's just, it looks, doesn't look right. Um, I also really like, Wolverine here. Yeah, that's a damn good Wolverine. So yeah, 
there's going to be massive splash pages. There's going to be massive big punching and, and fighting. Um, oh, there's, um, there's this, there's this creature. I'm not going to show you the creature. It's pretty damn sick. Um, yeah. And there's a stinger at the end. Someone else appears. If you're listening to Rob's podcast or if you're in the Facebook groups and stuff, then you know what it is. So it's, it's not really a spoiler, but I won't say it just in case you, you don't know. <clears throat> the characters is two out of two because Wolverine's in my top five favorite Marvel characters, characters of all time. He's probably my second favorite Marvel character. <clears throat> uh, obviously Deadpool's awesome. Um, having Chris star in here is so cool. I almost think like, I know, I, I know, I know, uh, Ral Dorn is, is sort of like, wow, brought, brought this guy, you know, scoop this guy out of the, out, out of the mothballs or whatever. But, um, man, I, like Chris star is so wicked. This, I gotta, I gotta, I don't have the original issues of Chris star. I gotta get that. But man, I remember thinking Chris star was just the damn best toy when I was a kid, like thinking, wow, it's so cool with these, you know, and they even mentioned something like that about action figures in here. Yeah, he's awesome in this. Um, and Ral Dorn's pretty good. So let's see where he goes. I don't know anything about him. So I'm learning a little bit through, through this. Um, and the enjoyment factor, of course, is two out of two. I'm giving this a 10 out of 10. Look, the thing is, again, expectations. I'm buying this because I want the full Rob experience. And I think that he is giving it to you on everything that he does. This is why these still continue to sell out. Um, and everyone at the shop knows I'm the Rob Liefeld guy that my owner knows. He always says, oh, he goes, Rob, he goes, yep, Rob, I knew you are going to be here. Uh, <laughs> I knew you are going to be here when we opened the shop. I was like, yep. Yeah. He's like, you know it. He's like, okay, we got your stuff pulled. It's all good. I was like, all right, then, you know. So uh, they know me. They know me there. But the fact of the matter is that these do sell out, right? So, um, I, like, if somehow you're missing out. Also, this is, I, I, <clears throat> I hate to say spec book because that kind of irritates me. But it is going to be the last uh, story that he does with Deadpool for Marvel. At least Deadpool for Marvel. I don't know if he's allowed to do it outside. But I think this is the last Deadpool period. So you should be getting it um, just for that. And uh, yeah, man, I love this one. I can't wait. Like Batter Blood, Bad Blood was good. Batter Blood was awesome too. This is awesome. Um, it's all coming together, man. I love it. Oh, Chris, I can't get enough of Chris Star. Sorry. I'm just like, oh, he's so, so, so awesome. All right, guys, if you like my spaces and please like the video, consider subscribing, check out my other stuff. Um, let me know in the comments, man, what you thought. That's it. Until next time.